We will receive potentially contaminated N95 masks from local first responders and hospital systems, and we will process them in. First loading the chambers, clearly we want to protect our operators from potential contamination. The four containers that are on this side of the site are, they hold our protective equipment. This is you know, double hooded and uh, prevents any contaminant from getting on their face or in their eyes. Or So this is um, the top part, they're wearing double gloves, they're wearing Timex coats and, and, uh, and rubber boots. We have um, people in full protective equipment who can open them, who will open that box and make sure that it's properly bagged. Um, it's double bagged so that then we can hand those bag, that bag of masks into the chamber. Um, the people inside the chamber are in full protective equipment. They will then load the chamber in the shelves there with the masks that are acceptable. It will go through a, a vaporized hydrogen peroxide uh, cycle. It's a three-dimensional um, decontamination process. So the vapor goes into the mask and then generally about 10 hours of aeration where we're pulling fresh air, filtered HEPA, uh, through HEPA filters, fresh air through the chamber and for about 10 hours potentially to make sure that then all the hydrogen peroxide is removed from the mask. The next step is unloading and we then put on hair nets and, and surgical masks and gloves to make sure that we're then not recontaminating the masks. Uh, those masks get carefully handled, put back in the bags, back into boxes, and then they go back to the same hospital or a first responder unit that brought it to us. authorized to clean the mask up to 20 times. So we will tag, on each mask we'll write how many times it's been cleaned in our facilities. So hospitals and first responders organizations can sign up through the Patel webpage. Once they do that, they'll be issued a three-letter site code. That three-letter site code is how we track all the shipments. And that's the thing that we need before we can process a mask from that organization. I think it's, it's especially important in the recent times where we had so many cases of potential COVID where hospitals are going through so many N95 masks every day. We're very happy that we are able to provide them back to them after that one use, but we want to make sure they're 100% clean when we do that. So.